it's Maddie here. Um, I have been thinking a lot lately how there are certain times of our year where people tend to reflect over their life and reflect over their year and their time to see what they've done that's been productive or uh, if they've grown. And I find that most of the time people do that on their birthdays and at the new year. For me, those are kind of one and the same. It's a three-day difference, but let's be real here. It's the same thing. Um, and so far in my 24 years, I feel like I've accomplished a lot. I feel like I've grown a lot as a human being, and I've been so unbelievably lucky to live the life that I lead. And I decided to do something kind of fun this year for 24, before I turned 25, I have given myself 24 things that I will do throughout the year. I'm doing this so that I can live purposefully and so that I can look back by the time that I get to my 25th birthday and say, wow, I did a lot of different things. Now, not all of these are um, huge changing the world, uh, or even really changing myself kinds of things. Uh, it's more fun and goal-oriented and purposeful. It's just purposeful. So <laughs> my reason in doing videos is one, to keep myself accountable uh, because, you know, everybody around the New Year's resolution time period has all of these wonderful goals that they want to do, namely the gym and getting in shape and everything like that, which usually lasts, if we're lucky, a couple of weeks. So, reason number one for the videos. Number two is also to have something really cool to look back on. Uh, I've gone through phases in my life where I'm really good at keeping diaries and journals and I love looking back at them like sometimes I don't love looking back on it because you find yourself doing stupid things but it's a cool trip down memory lane and so this would be a really cool way to archive what I'm doing in a new creative form and also it's a good way for friends and family to keep in contact with me and to understand what I'm doing because I'm not good at the social media thing. I'm really bad at posting on Facebook and Instagram, and so every time anybody sees me from my family or my friends, they're always like, what are you doing with your life? I have no idea. I haven't heard or seen anything about you since the last time I saw you, three years ago. So this is another point. So my 24 things for year 24, even though it's not really my 24th year. But anyway, before I turn 25, for this year, I will be accomplishing the following 24 things. First, I'm going to read 24 books. Now, you know, this may not seem like a lot, but to me it actually is. It's actually a lot. Um, I'm including audiobooks in this as well as physical books because I read physical books as I'm falling asleep in most of the time. I make it two pages every single time and I have to reread that because I don't remember what I read. So audiobooks as well. I'm doing 24 new recipes. So new things that I have never made. It can be just a variation on something that I've made that's similar. So I'm not being super picky, but new recipes. 24 things that scare me. Haha! <laughs> Which is actually probably going to be pretty easy because I'm scared by most everything. But I don't like being scared, so I do it anyway. Um, I'm going to read or watch 24 plays. I'm a theater nerd, and I'm very excited about this one. Um, I am going to... Oh, this one's a cool one. So for Christmas, I got this thing right here. It's Letters for a Year of Gratitude. So it comes with 52 individual envelopes to write of gratitude and send out to people that you're grateful for and things that people have done for you. And so it, and then it comes with fun little stickers at the back. So I'm going to write a letter each week and send it out to somebody that I'm grateful for, letting them know. So 52 
letters of gratitude this year. Um, I'm going to donate blood. I used to do that all the time when I was at BYU because they would have these random uh, blood drives in the middle of the Wilkinson Center, and I would go there all the time when I had an hour break and I could just donate blood. But I, it's harder to do that here in Jackson for some reason. I guess just because I grew up here and I don't know exactly where to go. So I will donate blood at least one time. Um, donate clothing. So I'm going to go through my closet uh, once, maybe twice this year, and I'm going to go ahead and donate some of my things because um, I was able to spend some time in Nepal this past year with some really wonderful women. Um, and it's just, uh, it's an eye-opening experience about, once again, how many people just don't have the things that I'm so fortunate to have. Uh, so, small attempt to, one, declutter my life, which will be a positive for me, but also to give back to people who have less than what I have. Um, I'm going to finish my last online class and finally get my official diploma from BYU. This is one class that I've been working on for a while, and it's been just a pain in my rear. So, I'm going to finish it and get my diploma before the end of the year, hopefully by like April, but um, I'm going to try a new job that I have never done before, which I'm really excited about, and I think I already have this one lined up. Uh, I'm going to be an assistant director for a play, so I mainly have been acting in shows, and I've done a few directorial exercises and a few teaching things, but I've never been the assistant director, so we're going to see how that one pans out, so that's exciting. Um, I am going to get in shape and set physical goals, physical goals and keep them because, you know, like everyone after the holidays, we've all put on a little bit of weight. We always feel kind of heavy from all of the sugar that we've had. Um, and so I'm going to work on that as well. I have a set number in my mind of where I want it to be my goal weight, but that's based on 100% where I feel good, where I know that my body's in really good physical shape and it comes from when I'm eating the things that I know I should be eating and it's just where I feel comfortable. But I'm not going to tell you guys a number because that sometimes gets competitive or judgy when, I, when people start mentioning numbers instead of just the loose goal that's very personal of I want to be in a good shape where I feel comfortable with myself and I feel healthy. So that's that goal. And more on that later. Um, I'm going to go to a new state because I've done a lot of traveling, but I haven't done a lot of traveling in the United States, which is crazy. So, new state. I'm going to go skydiving. It's something that I've always wanted to do and haven't done yet, and I'm very excited about this one. I'm going to see if I can drag a friend along with me. So, any volunteers? Um, I'm going to go on a sister trip. This is something that Mia and I do every single year. We normally just get in the car and drive to Idaho Falls because it's close and relatively cheap. Uh, so a sister trip. I'm going to go camping because I love camping and I've only done the car camping thing a couple of times over the past couple of years. So not really camping, camping in a while. Um, I'm going to go to a sports game. I have discovered that I really love baseball. And so I'm going to go find a baseball game and I'm going to go. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have a full spa day. Um, I'm going to find a spa where I can do like the facial thing and the massage thing and whatever packages something. So a full spa day. So it'll take a little bit of prep work to earn the money for that, but spa day. Um, I'm going to build an epic fort because you know, you have to release the inner five-year-old somehow. So build an epic fort. Uh, this one shows the nerd and actor within me. Um, it's go to a, no, to a new place and pretend to be someone entirely different. <laughs> so just, it's basically an acting exercise, but it's something that I've always wanted to do since it's probably middle school with my friend Katerina. So I'm going to do it. Um, oh, I'm going to practice makeup effects. So in college, I worked a lot on different, um, like either glamour effects or like gory effects or 
basically what you see in the movies. I took a class on that and then I worked on that in high school a little bit. And so it's really fun. I thought I would try a couple different, uh, different looks and use probably my sister as a fun model. So play around with that a little bit more. Uh, play a new game. I am an avid board game, card game fanatic. I love them. It's pretty much what I want to do with most of my time. So I'm going to do a new one. Always looking for the next big thing. Um, 21. Have afternoon tea. I love England a lot. And one of the traditions that they have there is the afternoon tea with the, with the little sandwiches and the scones with clotted cream and the tea and the pastries. And I love it so much. So I will either find a place that has afternoon tea or I will make it myself. Uh, 22, I will wear a dress or a skirt all week long. Um, up until recently, historically, women would only wear skirts and dresses. And a lot of the times I still know people who only wear skirts and dresses. Uh, it's a very feminine thing to do. Uh, and at this point in society, it's really interesting because it would be 100% of a choice. And uh, I thought that it'd be an interesting experiment to see how it personally makes me feel and also see how I get treated differently. So that'll be fun. Um, number 23, I would like to ride on a train at some point. <laughs> I love traveling by train. It's so fun and, I don't know, iconic. So... I'll find a train either there in the United States or elsewhere and ride on it to actually like go somewhere to actually use the train, not just like a train at a zoo or amusement park or something like that. That's cheating. Um, and finally, 24, I'm going to jump into a pool fully clothed because why the heck not? <laughs> Um, so a lot of these things, as you can see, a lot of them are really fun. Um, some of them are for my edification and for my betterment, but also it's just for enjoyment, which I think is just such a huge part of what I want this year to be. I want to be happy. I want to find joy in what I'm doing and find that any kind of progress or any kind of achievement is still an achievement and it still adds to who I am. I very much want to be a fun-loving, humorous, easygoing adventurer in life. That's kind of who I want to be and I'm really, really excited about this year. Uh, so those are my 24 things that I have written down. And I'm already starting on. So the plan is that I will post about once a week with updates of what I've been doing, what I'm working on, basically what I've been reading. Um, so to make sure that I'm working on this throughout the entire year. So it's an entire year project. It might not be exact, but that's the plan. Um, if you have any questions, go for it. I don't know if I expect anyone to see this at all, but here we go, folks. Year 24. <laughs>